What do you guys think was like your most near death experiences in the hood? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that you Every all about day. to die every day. Nigga, come blow on you. You can get nigga, hit. Nigga, they screwing with your ass 24-8. 24-8, they out there schooling. You never know. You shooting, they shooting. Everybody shooting. Crackheads getting shot. Innocent people getting shot. Half the time, that's who's getting shot. Not even the targets getting shot. Man. Yeah, so that shit was every day. Especially where I lived. That I lived on 62nd and Vernon. So I literally lived one block over and two blocks up from Oak Block. Like, literally, like. Literally, so when I came out the crib, nigga, I had to worry about it all the time. I can I can take the trash out. I'm on King Drive. I'm on Steve Drive, quote unquote. You feel me, like so? Shit was every day with me. Uh, and like for me, obviously, it's every day. If it, nigga be terrorized trying to go across the street and go to the store real quick, cause yeah. them niggas just, just slide whenever they slid, but. My scariest day, nigga, I done said it too many times to repeat it. You feel me? When MOB was on the block. And I, when they, the day they killed Tone standing over Oogie, and I was supposed to be with Oogie, except she called me back up the stairs right when I saw them coming. And and I saw them niggas coming. And so when she called me, I'm like, I'm glad. And so, but I ain't know who they was, but I was trying to get they look. I'm like, man, these, because you know, when you be around a nigga for so long, when one of them niggas get to walking, you like, bro. You know who they is, cause you could tell who they are by they walk. And they had hoods on, bro. And like they said, bro, that was, bro, I look at that day all the time and I be thanking God that like I just came from up there talking to this lady. Was she I I I bet if I call her or if I got in contact with her today, she wouldn't even remember, obviously, but like she called me back up for what? Damn, I'm and then I'm up at the I'm rock, I'm running up. I ain't even on the nap. Bum, 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 bum. I look out the window, they standing dead over folks. I knew he was dead. Then they run down, you hear more shots. Bum, 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 man. Who the hell they kill? Who they get that on the Then after then after they leave off though, Oogie get up and he running the building. This nigga is zombie. I'm like, nigga, what the hell? They standing over this nigga. I thought he was for sure dead. That was one of the scariest. I mean, that was. But again, it was a lot of times where you you, you feel me, you coming to get shot, nigga. It was, you know, I'd have said a lot on, on um, like through my interviews, you know, I don't want to overly repeat it. I see them niggas in the comment section. They, man, it's the same questions all the time. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just <laughs> sitting in the seat. <laughs> like, but <laughs> one thing that we've been hearing about for years is that the GDs have accused the BDs of blackballing them in the music industry. Uh, not being able to get deals, making it difficult to do features, uh, just generally just trying to block them. You know, uh, you know, from your side, J Hood. You know, what do you think about that? I mean, I, I feel like I think the world just gonna always go with who they see first. If they got on first, they just would have sided with them because that's who they saw first. You feel me? I thought Sosa caught the wave. It wasn't about BDGD, and I think. Everybody GDK, even GDs. Like when them niggas was BDK, that when niggas that's BD Cause BDK. I'm, Cause I'm insane, so. Yeah, yeah, I think it was some niggas that came up from. We ain't hear nothing about no niggas being BD and BDK until it was some niggas from like the other side doing it. We that was no thing. You feel me? And so I believe because everybody they were starting to shine upon being a gangster, cause it was more cool to. Talk and, act and say you a black disciple now. It was more cool to say you two folk kick dough. You feel me? It was more cool because everybody was against the gangster disciples, folk. Everybody dropped the G. It, it's looked, a, it, it looked cool to drop the rakes once upon a time. It bro, that's so it. Cool. It just looked cool. All you gotta do is drop, drop the rakes, say gang, gang, GDK, and then you cool. Exactly. That shit is so sucked out. But how I feel about this situation is. I heard that my own my own two years. Them niggas tell record labels don't fuck with us, or I tell our artists don't fuck with us. We gonna rob them. We gonna do this to them. We gonna do that to them. Screw the riddle, riddle. So it is what it is. But one thing for show, sure, and one thing for shit show, sure, you can't stop. It's good music for show. Sure, so that's why niggas gonna keep on possibly. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone.
news.